today brought a meeting of two presidents, the President of the United States and the President of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And church officials took President Obama a gift. Richard Pied is live in the newsroom with details on that visit. Rich? Well, Carol and Bruce, that gift was a five-book record of President Obama's family history presented by President Monson. Previous presidents have had this exchange, a gesture of goodwill from both sides. Presidents and religious leaders often meet at the White House, but this meeting is happening amid complex wars and conflicts overseas. There are cultural differences and divisiveness here at home. An economy is struggling to recover, a looming health care crisis, and more. Politically, today's meeting, though fairly routine, is still a sign of mutual support on what unites us. President Monson wants to get across to the people of Utah, but of, of the United States and the world, that we want our president to succeed. After receiving the five book volume of his family's genealogy, the president said in a statement, I enjoyed my meeting with President Monson and Elder Oaks. I'm grateful for the genealogical records that they brought with them and I'm looking forward to reading through the materials with my daughters. It's something our family will treasure for years to come. President Monson said, President Obama's heritage is rich with examples of leadership, sacrifice and service. We were very pleased to research his family history and are honored to present it to him today. Nevada Senator Harry Reid arranged the meeting, which was also attended by Elder Dallin Oaks. Elder Oaks said, the church has great resources and experience in genealogy work, and we are proud to have researched such a unique and impressive family history. The church has also presented personal histories to other U.S. presidents recently, including George W. Bush and Bill Clinton. This meeting is evidence that members of the LDS Church do have some amount of political clout and that President Obama respects that. Carol. Thank you, Rich Pyatt. Slipping in public.